Welcome to FM and happy Sunday. Today is a big day for you because not only are you going to learn about the muscle up and the techniques you should be using, but you're going to be able to efficiently take control of this movement, your pull-ups and all other pulling movements because of the couple of tips I'm going to give you in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's jump into it. Muscle up. First things first, I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial. Very quick, speed, like lightning speed. You can look up my, on my channel for all the other muscle up tutorials, but hands are gonna be over in this pronated grip, okay? Pronated is, is overhand, over the bar, okay? Almost like towards your wrist. You're going to make sure that your head is not all the way through and it's not all the way back. If you put it all the way back, what's gonna happen? Well, you're going to be thrown too far back and you're not gonna be able to get over the bar. So over pronate, chin is going to be just in a neutral position, allowing that spine to be in a proper curvature, okay? And those feet are gonna be in front of the bar. Notice how they're not back, they're in front, all right? And all you're going to do, I know it sounds complicated, but this is a proper strict muscle up. It's straight up and pushing up, okay? So it's forward and up and all the way up, okay? So I know it looks like it's like the quickest tutorial ever, but let me help you get to that point. It's gonna be very, very clear once you start doing these movements. So first of all, great exercise to be warming up with. It's going to be, and you can do this with any type of resistance band. I use rubber bandits. Um, in the description, this is not a sponsor post. You can use them, they're freaking incredible. Um, a, a red, orange band, whatever it is. You're gonna just work on retraction and depression, okay? So when I say retraction and depression, your scaps are going to go like this. So they're going to retract and depress. So it's almost like this, okay? And what this allows for is more elasticity of your chest muscles and then also for your lat to engage the way it needs to, especially for this muscle up. So what we're gonna do, come here, all right? Keep that chin tucked and we're just going to move in that retraction and depression here. Always making sure that you're tightening in your stomach. And when I mean tightening in your stomach, I'm not <gasps> like that, no. I'm just allowing room for my, that diaphragm to open up and then tighten quickly, all right? So you're here and you'll, boot, you'll do, I mean, you could do like five sets of 10 of these before you train. This is just working on that retraction and depression, okay? Another exercise that you could be doing, jump on over here. I'm gonna come right behind you. Oh, boom, knocked out. <laughs> he just ran into a pole. <laughs> so we're going to come here. Let's go to a, a smaller bar. We got water polo enthusiasts over on the other side in the pool over there. Okay, so we're gonna come in front just like that muscle up that I was teaching at the beginning. And what you're going to do is jump a little bit and come back and, and almost go from like a, it's, it's an extension of that shoulder joint, okay? So it's straightened. You can bend your elbows a little bit because remember for your muscle up, you are gonna be bending your elbows a little bit. So we always want to work towards the movement that we're working towards, right? If it was just only for your lats, then you wouldn't be really bending your elbows as much, but we are, okay? And we're also not crazy advanced and strong like some of these calisthenics guys all around the world, right? So we're gonna come in front, we're gonna jump a little bit and bend those elbows. Jump a little bit, bend those elbows. Jump a little bit, bend those elbows. Most important thing is to keep those hands over in this position. That overhand grip, pronated, very, very important. Here, I suggest doing about eight repetitions for three to five sets. You wanna increase the volume for these type of exercises for your muscle up, all right? So that's exercise number two. Now, this is one of my favorites. I, I use, I literally use these resistance bands all the time, all the time. And so you can use uh, a very, very thick band. We have some that are a little bit thinner. Again, they're from Rubber Band. It's in the description. You can check them out if you want to. Um, I am going to use this black one right here. It's like charcoal. Um, it's a certain amount of resistance, so it's gonna help you in the movement. And the main thing here is to be as explosive and as powerful and as quick as possible through the entire movement. We're like trying to run away from, from the people. So we're gonna hop on here, okay? Pop it over. You guys have seen this before, but I'm gonna give you a little bit more tips so that you can use these to your advantage. It's gonna be so, so important, all right? So, I know this is a little tall. All right, so 
Couple different things that you can do with this resistance band. Number one, you can just put one leg on the resistance band and use it for a little bit less resistance, okay? Or you can put two in there. And the most important thing here is gonna be explosiveness out of the hole. And out of the hole, I mean from the starting point, okay? So watch, watch how explosive I am from the starting point, okay? So I wanna come forward, lean, and ah, there. I'm gonna show it again. Over pronated grip, relax. And just notice how quick I'm being in that first movement. Okay, it's that first movement. And you also do it with one leg, right? So that's, that's one half of the muscle up, okay? So it's explosiveness from point A to point B. So you wanna get to that point where you're about nipple length to that bar. Okay, we use that in strength and conditioning. It's a nipple point, it's, ignore it. <laughs> a lot of people won't even understand that. Okay, and so right when you get to that point, now that's where the explosiveness comes, where you're not only working on that lower part, the, the initial explosiveness, but it's the second half. So on this second one, you're gonna make sure that you're using a stronger band, something with more resistance, and then you're going to provide a lot more explosiveness, a lot more power in the second half of the muscle, okay? So watch very, very closely. Over pronated, okay? You back up just a little bit, Bernard. Thanks, bro. So we're gonna be here, and we're gonna go a little bit slower, and then explode. Did you notice that? Renard, did you notice that? Okay, so again, it's gonna be a little slower at the beginning. Slow, explode. A lot of people don't teach this. And the reason being is because, well, I don't know, <laughs> to be honest, but this is very important to add to your arsenal. And it makes it so much easier for your movement because now not only are you focusing on the first half of the pull-up to explode to get to that nipple line, but now once you get to that nipple line, you're learning how to transfer over into that dip so so important and you got to remember the muscle up is not only a lat exercise it's not only using your biceps it's using your anterior delts it's using your posterior delts it's using um it, like every muscle that's attached to your scaps so engage that core especially and you'll see incredible results and i do want to i just want to reference one more thing really quick so when you're doing any of these movements a lot of people will go into extension of their lumbar spine you don't want to do that. When you go into a lot of extension of your lumbar spine, not only do you put at risk those lower lumbar, so L4, L5, um, you, herniations, bulging discs, you heard of them. Um, it can really put your spinal cord in a bad position. You don't want that. Long term, comes out and smacks you in the face, trust me. So, what I'm gonna tell you is, I want you to make a stomach, okay? So, make a stomach like this. She has like a little food baby. So what you're gonna do is just open it up, open it up a little bit and squeeze. That's it, literally, and squeeze. Watch my hand, watch how it slightly opens up. And squeeze, so open up, squeeze. That's it, and right there, that is where you're gonna stabilize your erector spinae. Your, your erector spinae is going to be activated, firing, that's along your spinal, your, 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 uh, your vertebra, okay, your QLs, very important. A lot of people miss out on those. And also the entire, the entire midsection, the entire midsection will be engaged and it'll allow for all the other muscles in your body to work properly, all right? So be very precise with what I just taught you. Take it into your arsenal and go full speed ahead. If you want any resistance bands to so try them out yourself, Again, this is not a sponsored post. I don't need the money. I would rather help out a company. And my friend Ari actually owns his business and it's freaking incredible. Rubber Bandits in the description. Super easy, very inexpensive. Give me this opportunity to get started today, all right? Thanks for tuning in for this video. I do have coaching and a lot of different things launching soon, so stay tuned for that. Appreciate you, fam. You've been with me for seven years and that means the world to me. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Peace.